so much for joining us for this evening's performance at the Millennium Stage. Tonight's performance is brought to you in collaboration with East River Jazz. If you'd like to learn more about East River Jazz, there are pamphlets in the back of the house for you to take home with you. Now, please welcome to the stage, Amani Grace Cooper sings Fitzgerald and Strayhorn. Have you ever had a great idea? You not really know how to say it or how to phrase it. We all have that time where we, oh, there it is, that'd be really cool. But we don't know really how to get it out. We all need that someone in our lives who we can bounce ideas off of, give us a little inspiration here and there, you know? Well, that's exactly what William Thomas Strayhorn was for Duke Ellington. Ellington was supposed to be the mentor and Billy was supposed to be the mentee. He was supposed to be the apprentice, the one learning, the one who just simply gave a little help. But quickly, Duke realized he had a gem. He had something special. And that's how Billy Strayhorn became much of the brains of Duke Ellington's 
songbook. You all know this song, Lush Life. Yeah. Accompanying me today on piano is the phenomenal Cyrus Chestnut. You'll also see in just a little bit, I have uh, on drums, and I'll reintroduce them again in case you forget, which I'm sure you won't. On drums, Abinette Baranu, and on bass, Elliot Seppa, and on sax, Elijah Balberg. My name is Imani Grace, and I thank you all very much for being here. Billy Strayhorn was born November 11th, 1915, hence this lovely year-long celebration brought to you by Mr. Bernard Gray and the East River Jazz. Thank you, East River. His parents were hardworking people. His father was a steel worker, and his mother lived her life with the ideology that love comes first. She made that a very special point in Billy's life. I hope you don't mind my uh, informal Billy. And he had seven siblings. So he came from a big household. And uh, he was born in Dayton, Ohio. But not too long after he was born, because his family was doing kind of all right for an African American family at the time, they moved to a, I'd say, upper middle class area in Pennsylvania called Homewood right outside of Pittsburgh. And uh, as you could imagine, the hardships of one being an African-American male, then working in the steel mines, uh, his father kind of lost reins of his life, became a drunk. <laughs> so uh, his mother wasn't having it, though, because she believed in love. So out of love, she sent her, Billy and her babies down to North Carolina, South Carolina, to stay with her parents, and uh, she just had to get herself together. She needed to, she needed to get a job, because she wasn't having that. So, uh, of course, with being a modern woman comes modern blues. This first tune we're gonna do is uh, Ain't Got Nothing But Blues. the change of a nickel, ain't got the bounce in my shoes, ain't got no fancy to tickle, I ain't got nothing but the blues, ain't got no coffee or perkin. Ain't got no winnings to lose Ain't got a dream that is working I ain't got nothing but the blues When trumpets flare up I keep my hair up I just can't
the blues. Eliza Bobby. Trumpets flare up, I can't even keep my hair up. I just can't get it to come down. Believe me, Poppy, I can't get happy. Because my ever loving baby left town. I ain't got no rest in my stomach. This band. <laughs> now, Mama Strayhorn, like I said, she believed in love. And she heard that Billy was starting to play a little piano and that he was getting pretty good. So she sent for him to come back to Pennsylvania where she can keep her eyes on her. I know that's what my mama would have done. <laughs> so uh, she wanted him to go to school in Pennsylvania, this school called don't want to call it wrong. West House High School. Now, uh, Ahmad Jamal and Errol Garner later went to this school, so you can kind of guess why she wanted him to be there. Get a little bit of whatever that juice they were drinking in there. <laughs> and uh, so after he graduated high school, he actually did pretty well in high school, and he went to, uh, he did a little time at Music Pittsburgh, P Pittsburgh Music Institute, and uh, he was studying with, with some pretty awesome piano players, and he fell in love. He fell in love with music. He had studied classical music before, but I am witness that when you open your mind and open your spirit and even open your body to learning music, especially on a collegiate level, it, it, it changes you. You're, that's when you're most uh, susceptible to love and music especially. So he was writing and composing and arranging for school things, um, other high schools in the area and productions that were going on. But uh, then he turned 19 and he heard Art Tatum for the first time and jazz piano. I was changed when I heard Art Tatum when I was about 19 years old, but I think uh, other than a few very obvious differences between me and Strayhorn, was that he was actually in the times. He was around when all of this was, was just still really fresh and new and, and, and exciting and happening on every corner. You couldn't really get away from it. It was, it was the popular music. So he was able to grab onto that, and, uh, and that's, when he, that's when he really started to see the light. Uh, so he went to a this piano player named Duke Ellington was in town and he decided to go to the concert and uh, he was so excited. He arranged one of Duke's songs and the next time Duke was in town, he showed Duke. And then a few weeks later, he gets a call from Duke and a ticket to Harlem. Harlem, 
any place in Harlem. There's someone in, in Harlem that makes me feel like heaven's up in Harlem. I don't want your Dixie. You can keep your Dixie. There's no one down in Dixie who can take me away from my heart, Harlem. Harlem has those southern skies that in my baby smile. I idolize my baby smile and southern uptown style. If Harlem moved to China, I know nothing finer than to stow away on a plane someday and have them drop me off in Harlem. Oh, drop There's no one down in Dixie who can make me feel like Harlem. Harlem has those southern skies, they're right in my baby smile. I idolize my baby smile and a classy uptown style. If Harlem moved to China, I couldn't think of nothing finer than to stow away on a plane someday and have them drop me off in Harlem. There's someone down in Harlem who can make me feel like heaven's in Harlem. If you have a Dixie, I don't want your Dixie. Cause no one down in Dixie can take me away from my Harlem. Harlem has those southern smiles, they're in my baby smile. Now we're in Harlem, 1936. I could only imagine being a musician in Harlem, New York in 1936. <laughs> y'all don't get it, y'all don't get it. But for those in the house who know anything about jazz music and anything about the Harlem Renaissance, that was, that was a time, that was, that was a thing to be in Harlem, New York. I see a witness. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so Strayhorn was getting a little taste of the big city, and he liked it. He liked it a lot. He didn't go back home for some time. Of course, he visited his parents, saw his, his siblings when he did, and he even had them come up to New York with him. But Harlem was different. See, Strayhorn was a little country boy who went to a small town in Ohio, who then saw the bright lights, all the fast cars and moving people in New York City. And it wasn't just the lights, it wasn't just the business hours that were clear past Carolina business hours. It was the people. People that looked different, dressed different, sounded different, and they were still accepted. It wasn't a, different and we just know little Mikey, little different. No, it was people were different and it was a good thing. Even
even people who were kind of like him a little bit, you know, other mama boys. So uh, Billy was able to, to see some things in Harlem he had never seen before. And he fell in love again, and this time it, it, it wasn't with music. Billy fell in love with the idea of himself. He had never before experienced truly knowing who he was. He didn't until he saw. I think it's kind of history from there, but for those who don't know, homosexuality was not anything accepted anywhere other than places like New York and California, West Coast Love, and Strayhorn was able to put all of his energy into music instead of thinking about boxing himself and his musicianship into the standard, into what was normal. So this next tune, I will be singing drop me off in Harlem is I didn't know about you and when I listened to the words and I listened uh, did my own little research it didn't sound like he was talking about anyone other than himself he didn't know about himself he wasn't able to really love the way he wanted to how could you you don't even know yourself so this next tune will Company, the great uh, Cyrus Chestnut. With my own little crowd, the usual laughs, not often but loud, and in the world that I knew, I didn't know about you. On a merry-go-round Just taking my fun Where it could be found And yet what else could I do? I didn't know about you
every time I went out Romance was the thing I kidded about How could I know about love? I didn't know about you Don't was just the thing I laughed and joked about. How could I know about love? I didn't revelations. I think that's pretty common when you're 20-something. You think you've outgrown. You're like, oh, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it now. And then something miraculous happens in your life. And you're like, oh. And see, for Strayhorn, it was coming to terms with himself and being okay with that. For me, it was understanding the necessity for Jesus Christ in my life. For others, it's, it's, it's realizing that you have a purpose greater than yourself and your being right then and right there which is one of the reasons why, uh, after studying Strayhorn, I, I really appreciate him. Because he's one that's, you know, not now physically, but his life was somewhat tangible. He put all that he was feeling, all of his thoughts, and, and everything that he went through, his music is almost a timeline of his transformation from boyhood to adulthood, and it's, it's pretty, pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. He knew who he was and all this other good stuff. And he was writing for Ellington. And in this revelation, he realized, okay, I'm, I'm a pretty decent player and a pretty decent composer. And wanted a little more recognition than what he was getting. He was writing for Ellington almost like the equivalent of a ghost writer. He wasn't on many credits to begin with uh, and, and was hardly even seen. And some <coughs> even speculated before finding out about his uh, musical partnership with Ellington that they were together, but there's nothing reported of the such, so we won't say that. And uh, yeah, Strayhorn was, was a minimalist in, 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 in ideas. He, he didn't need the glitz and glam to start with, but then as soon as he started to get a little taste of the light, he didn't want to get outshined. This next tune, I'm beginning to see the light. I never cared much for moonlit skies I never winked back at fireflies But now that the stars are in your eyes I'm beginning to see the light I never went in for afterglow a candlelight on the mistletoe But now that the stars are in your eyes Baby, baby, I'm beginning to see the light Used to ramble through the park 
Shadow boxing in the dark. Then you came and stole my heart. That's a four alarm fire now. I never made love by moonlit sky. I never saw rainbows in my wine. But now that the lips are burning, my I'm beginning to see the light. I never cared much for moonlit skies. I never winked back at fireflies. But now that the stars are in your eyes, I'm beginning to see the light. I never went in for afterglow or candlelights on the mistletoe. But now that your lips are burning mine, I'm beginning to see the light. I used to rest. Fireflies, but now that the lips are burning, much, I'm beginning to see the light. I never cared much for moonlit skies, I never saw rainbows in my wine. But now that your lips are burning, mine, I'm beginning to see the light. I never went in for an afterglow on candlelight on the mistletoe. But now, when in you turn the lamp down low, I'm beginning to see the light. I used to ramble through the park, shadow boxing in the dark. Then you came and caused a spark. That's a moral I'm fire now. I never made love by moonlit sky. I never made rainbows in my wine. But when your lips are burning mine, I'm beginning to see the light. Straight horn. He's out in New York. He was doing his thing. He was cool, you know? So he thought. But Duke thought otherwise. Remember, he was supposed to be the mentor, kind of ringing Billy in just a little bit. So Duke had Billy Straight horn move in with him and his sister and his son. And I personally don't really get why as far as that's concerned because his son was only about four years younger than him only about four years younger than Strayhorn and I don't know about you but if I had a kid who was kind of teetering you know on certain things and my boy was only four years younger than him and he was kind of teetering on some things too anywho Billy Strayhorn met his first reportedly first lover through Duke's son, Mercer Ellington. And his name was Aaron Bridges. So this next tune is Don't Get Around Much Anymore. Saturday dance Heard they crowded the floor Couldn't bear with without you Don't get around anymore God, I visit the club Got as far as the door Couldn't bear it without you Don't get around anymore Oh, 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 baby, I guess that my mind's more at ease. But nevertheless, why go and serve memories? Been invited on dates. Might have gone, but what for? Awfully different without you. Don't get around anymore. Saturday dance I thought I'd go but what for they'd have asked me about you so I don't get around anymore thought I'd visit the club might have gone but 
Everybody knows we're together, so don't go around anymore. Oh, baby, baby, I guess that my mind's more at peace. But nevertheless, why go and stir up memories? Been invited on dates. the club got as far as the door they'd have asked me about you don't get around anymore oh, oh baby I guess that my mind's more at ease but nevertheless why is there a man They'd have asked me I didn't want to see Anybody that we both know Oh
Evan Verano on drums. So pleased to have these guys up here with me. Across the desert, so I. 
desert After years of setting up his name and claim to fame, writing for everyone and their mamas, composing and arranging and even performing worldwide, Billy Strayhorn was diagnosed with cancer. This cancer all up in here, throat cancer, 1967. He had close relationships with the civil rights movement, even Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. himself. So he was loved by many, admired by most, and respected by any and all who heard his works. Billy Strayhorn lived a life through the legacy of his mother and his grandmother, those he had learned from and those he had taught which I think is something we should all take with ourselves. Is that life is about what you give and receive. Because you can only give what you get, you know? Some of us get it through music, some of us get it through social work, some of us get it through activism, some of us get it through the love of a higher being. Billy Strayhorn gave his love through music.
Into your alley life, romance came, and in this heart of yours burned a flame, a flame that flickered one day and died. Oh. Solution deep in your eyes. You learn that fools in love soon grow wise. The years have changed you somehow. I see you now. Smoking, drinking, never even thinking of tomorrow. Nonchalant, diamond shining, dancing, dining with some man in a restaurant. Is that all you really want? No. Sophisticated lady. I know you miss the love you had long ago. And when no See you cry Smoking, drinking Never even thinking of tomorrow So I see you dancing and dining with some men in a restaurant. Is that all you really want? No. Sophisticated lady. I know you miss the love. You had all oh, so long ago, and when nobody is now, I see you cry. I was just on our piano. <laughs> Elliot Sepp on bass. <laughs> Evan Epirano, drums. <laughs> and Elijah Ball Band on the horn. <laughs> I'd like to thank Kennedy Center and the Millennium Stage for having me. The sound, I very much appreciate you. Mr. Bernard Gray and the East River Jazz, bless you. And all of you, thank you so much. My name is Imani Grace Cooper, and I hope you stay tuned for further Strathmore Strayhorn presentations. Thank you, thank you.